Hey y'all. How are you doing today? I am doing amazing. I think. I'm pretty sure. Who knows? Anyways. Hope you guys decide to join me to paint this. It's blown out, but it looks cool. Oh, B baby river. I'm gonna fill it with resin. Hey, Swamper. How you going? Kim, Catherine, Heidi, what's up? Oh, I keep forgetting to like do any kind of intro for like the replay people. What's up? I'm Erica. My co-star today is Bowie Beans. Dun, 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 dun. Look how cute he is. Look at that pretty boy. Who are you looking at? Is something over there? Do you hear stuff? Or probably just her dad. Yeah? Okay. And we're artists still dead. We paint live usually every day. Definitely try to post every day and today is no different we're gonna try to do a resin river tray because it's this size I think this is 11 by 14 hey you want to mute that before you come over here that'd be cool what's up do you remember these games there's 12,000 people watching you play this game. I used to Ooh, love the hoop one. Adam, yeah. God, look, you guys, take your way back. Nope. Oh, it's too blown out. <clears throat> you guys remember the the water game that used to, you have to blow the shapes? Here, I'll just yeah. turn it down. It, it was way, way up. I mean, what was that? You remember that? Where you had to push the button? Oh my gosh. Sorry I interrupted y'all. <laughs> it's just taking me back. What's up, y'all? I used to do the ones that you have to go and put it in the, yeah. the basket. Mm -hmm. What's up, you guys? So, hopefully it'll work. There's a little bit of prep that seems like it should be involved in this. But we're going to do it together. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Cue the... Mm, I haven't uploaded the stripper music again yet, but cue the regular music. Is there music? I don't know. Okay, I'm here. You still love... See, everyone loves that game. What's up, you guys? Barbara, I'm glad you caught a live. So I was gonna use this Illumilite dye. Okay, here's my thought process. I wanna stain the outside a darker brown and then ocean the inside. Not ocean, but water. You know what I mean. Brown. I'm going to use a watercolor, Doc Martens Hydras. Not going to focus? Cool. Just another day. So, this is a watercolor. I'm going to have some water. Ooh. Yeah. way too light. I'm sure you could use an actual stain, but I don't have any actual stain, so I'm going to use a this. And it's still too light. So I'm going to coat it all in this water. Then I'm going to drop more of the ink just directly on this and hopefully you no, it'll be fine. 
hopefully it'll like do something cool. I'm good, thank you though. That's more like it. Wanted a darker brown color since I'm gonna use super light blues. I saw people asking about these in some of the groups and I decided, hey y'all, I decided I wanted to try to carry them in my shop, so that's what I'm doing. So you can, I have, I think, 10 of these available in my shop right now. I'm sure you can get them at other places. So, but if you are buying from my shop already and you want to try one of these, they're in there. I'm also pretty sure I'm going to have to seal this in. Because um, it appears to be ultra porous. Look at my wood green. Rhonda would be so proud. Okay, there we go. Looks like wood, yeah? Cool. I think so too. So we are going to move on. Are you guys having an awesome day? What's today? Monday. Ooh, sometimes Mondays aren't the best. Oh, I must have stopped. But this Monday has been relatively uneventful. Kevin from Stone Coat Customer Service, always watching and don't kid yourself, Rondo would be and is Jelly Girl. I love you guys. If you guys don't know, Stone Coat is the resin of choice on our channel and we heart those guys so much. Their entire staff is ultra helpful. And super supportive, as you can see. We have someone from their fam just checking out what we're doing today. That's super awesome. So, it's not coming up on my hands. I don't usually do stains, comma, ugh. Trying to set up this paintbrush so it doesn't fall. Okay. Super. So. Hi, Robin. Hey, guys. I'm awesome. Thank you for joining me today. Um. So yeah, I don't really do stains or um, river things, but I really wanted to give this a shot. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal in my this with some Mod Podge. I would typically use a quick coat, but I don't want to wait that long. Y'all don't want to wait that long. Because it would be essentially you guys with me watching resin dry. So we're gonna just coat it in Mod Podge and hope that seals it in enough. Y'all, Mod Podge never doesn't smell. I hope it doesn't dull my wood look out too much. If it does, I'll just try to do another layer. I wasn't sure if I should 
Mod Podge first, but then I was like, if I do that, what will the brown color have to sink into? So I did that first. I guess it still looks woody. Um, yes, I bought this shape and I have them in my shop, artistilldeath.com. I have a feeling you'll be seeing them pop up in a lot of places, so make sure to shop around. But if you're already on my shop already and you want to support a small business, I would love to sell you one. Another cool thing about Mod Podge is it dries fairly fast. I don't use it that often. But glad I had some in the house. I'm also going to seal this part in, and the reason why I'm sealing it this in is because this board appears to be not treated and very porous and I don't know if it would happen but what I'm trying to prevent is when I put resin on it I don't want it to breathe and by breathe I mean allow air through which will give me bubbles on my surface so because I'm trying to avoid that I am sealing it in. P.S. Special happy birthdays to Mike from Stone Coat Countertops. I think he turned like 29 again or something. Either way. I sent him a text. I was like, Mike, I hope you have the best birthdays. And I hope you decide to try something new. Because that's my favorite thing to do on my birthdays is to do something I've never done before. Valerie, your mermaid chameleon should be there before too long. Um, I literally made a 3D exact board this evening. What? Did you do a video? I want to see. Um, hi, Arlene. Thursday sounds good. Kim, wait, what's Thursday? Sure. Um, hi, Susan. We're going to dry this Mod Podge. Which shouldn't take too long. If I had more time, I would coat it with Quick Coat because that would for sure seal in everything and prevent... That's exciting. Can you guys hear me? And see me? I'm just fixing all my color. Okay, good. Got that camera fixed. I don't know why my system does this sometimes. It is not cool. At all. I'm just going to leave this one with this color. It will be fine. It's not like I could be any more pale. Fixing the last one. Thank you guys for your patience. <sighs> I 
The struggle's real. It is really real. I'm not gonna get like super detailed with my lighting like Jeff usually does. Because I don't wanna. Okay, back to business. Now, it's not sticky anymore, therefore dried enough for me. Um, I'm gonna use, what is this? General purpose masking tape. I'm sure there are better ones. Sorry about the compressor. Thanks, Denise. Also, how are you? Gone again. Shane, don't mess with my soul like that. You being for real? It says connected on my end. Thanks, you guys. You're back live. Okay. Okay, everyone just refresh, I'm being told. Also, my bad about that. I don't know. I don't know why it does that. I'm a little fuzzy. Oh. Um, hopefully, it'll fix. Let me know if it doesn't. In the meantime... I'm going to do a table. It was me. Okay. So, I'm taking extra care to make sure that this is a good seal from the tape. Just take something rigid. Make sure you have really good contact. all the way up to like where this ridge is, you wanna make sure that there's good contact all the way up to that lip. I'm gonna hope this is good enough. Uh, what is it that Jeff says all the time? Something about prep being the most important thing. So maybe I'll do another layer. Just how did you dye it? Alcohol ink. It was uh, watercolor and water, but I'm sure alcohol ink maybe would have been fine. I don't know why it wouldn't have been fine, but I just didn't. No particular reason. Probably just because I had a brown watercolor handy. I got these handy dandy stands from Firefly. All right, one more side. You could probably use the blue painter's tape or the frog tape. Man. Any of those would probably do, but this is what I have. Andy. And it's not going to take a whole bunch of finagling because it's like, it's such a short tape instead of, you know what I mean. A lot of tapes are like two inches tall. multi-purpose canvas lifts for your convenience. Boop. Heidi, I put, um, I sent an email out to see about getting your order rerouted. Sometimes they answer it in time, sometimes they don't. I, I tried to contact them via phone and USPS is, um, they're not really good at answering the phone. 
So I did a review on these stands a couple, I think just last week, Susan. And they're just handy dandy little Whoa. variable stands so you can make sure your pieces are level. How do you like my wood? Almost looks as good as my wood. Well, <laughs> nobody can beat your wood. Mm. <laughs> so, anyways. Your cameras are so blown out. Ooh, well, they actually just died on me and I just fixed them. Hi, Big Bowie. Uh, Nothing I can do. You can redo them. Yeah, but then people are going to just sit there watching me fiddle. Well, and you can talk and, and then you give them subjects to talk about. Reservoir is not going to hold that much further, right? No. Well, it looks good right there. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? So, I need you guys to go um, and tell your TikTok friends to follow me, to follow us on TikTok. We just need 192, 98 more. <laughs> it's true. But like one, I think. Well, I uh, I'm giving away a custom skateboard deck. It is a Pokemon one, so if you guys aren't into Pokemon, you need to uh, sign up for the giveaway. That is still too bright. I'm trying. I don't have any of the lights on, and the curtains are relatively cold. This rural table would be so cool, big enough to make it an accent up. Right, Catherine? But y'all, if you guys get into river tables, it is a lot of product. And casting resin is of the most expensive kind of resin. And you can only pour it at most two inches thick. Or you'll have bubble issues and discoloration issues. And... What are other things? Like a small coffee table sized river table is gonna be like $600 worth of resin. Just saying. Oh, I followed you. Hey, Sue. So. We already sealed it in and we taped it off. I didn't tape off this bit because I'm okay with it running off. I just don't want my uh, reservoir or my river running out. And so hopefully okay. this tape. Sharpness, like, um, yeah, everything is good. It'll update, maybe we just refresh. Hi, my pants. Oh yeah, doing one of these bigger for sure. I can get my builder to investigate. Just send me a message with sizes. Swapper, you totally have to join the TikTok. I don't really get on there that often, but Jeff's on there. Probably should get on there. Pretty girls, you know. What do you think about the little bubble-free electric stirrer? You know what they're talking about? So, I have a hair on my nose. Um, 
I haven't, I haven't gotten one, but is it kind of like one of those stirs for on the stove so you don't have to like keep watch over it? Is the brand Little Bubble Free? Someone tagged me in Facebook the other day um, on like a, it's a resin warmer, but essentially it's like a coffee cup warmer to put your resin on before you use it. And let me just say, yes, thinner resin gives you less bubbles because science. Be advised, the hotter you get your resin after you mix the parts together, the faster it's going to set up on you. And if that's not an issue, go for it. I don't, hey Tim, I don't think it's like a coffee frother because it's a bubble free electric stirrer. And a frother, just from the name alone, tells you you're going to have all of the bubbles. Thank you for playing. Which I don't mind bubbles because I don't do that many casts, but some people have a problem with bubbles. I don't care. Because I don't do molds that often. I feel like if I was in the mold game, I would just get a pressure pot and call it a day. Because no matter how good the casting epoxy, odds of getting micro bubbles, especially if you put stuff in your molds is super great, you know? Four minute open time? Mm. I'm all for little mixers. When we do countertops, we have an attachment for our power tools to mix it up. But just heads up, you're gonna have bubbles when you mix that vigorously. Now I'm worried about delivery, getting stuff delivered because all of the street is blocked off. All of the street is blocked off both ways? Well, this one's going through this way, but. I think they're letting people go through the turning lane or did they move the crane already? I don't know. Like the, the whole parking lot's sealed off too. We already got a message. Delivery attempt. Unfortunately, we we ran into issues. But what's his name? He said that they're in the building. Hey, Vamp. Vamp, if you need to not work tonight and take a nap, I get it. Has it been three minutes? I feel like. That's what I need. I need, hear me out. You know, maybe some of you don't know. My first job was at Sonic, right? And so we had a milkshake mixer where you like put the cup under it after you put the milkshake, the ice cream and the stuff in it. And you just go and it mix and it mix ups it for you. So yeah. I need one of those that calculates how much time it needs to be spinning and then just goes for that long. So I can just hold it up in there and it goes until it's mixed and then it tells me you're good. That's what I need. Someone invent it, I'll buy two. Also, I know I want a milkshake, so that's cool. All right, we're gonna do some blue. I don't know how much we need. And I need a tea tiny baby, baby white. Mm -hmm. These little tea tiny medicine cups come in super perfect for that. I 
don't know what this is for, so we're going to put it over here. Okay. Hi, Carrie. Not too late at all. So, here we go. You're welcome, Sonic. Now everyone wants a milkshake. Yeah. Sure. All right, I'm going to start with one drop. For a super light color. And I'm going to mix in some bling it. Oh, this is violet sparkle. It'd be fine. Ooh. Got me. I was going to put blue sparkles, but that didn't happen. So we're putting purple sparkles in our river. It's going to be a fairy river, apparently. And it's going to look amazing. Okay, so this is going to be my over here color. I'm going to push it up to the edge. Then I'm going to mix a darker version of Bondi. All of this, by the way, you can get on my website, artistilldead.com. Boop, there we go. I need to mix the same that, but a little bit darker. The company I work for owns three Sonics. Maybe we just need to talk to your people and see if we can just get one and modify it. All right, we're three drops in on this one. First one, first color, this one is one drop of Bondi. It's like a whole nother color. You're welcome. I don't sing for just anybody. Okay. Now I'm just making a deep, deeper, deep color because the middle of rivers tend to be darker. And make up the rule. Science. I'm going to hit it with some heat in a minute so this bit is not that necessary. Meow. Someday I'd like to see Bondi Beach. Same, because it's my favorite color. I feel like I need to go there. So, for the white, I'm using Angel Butt White by La Rez. I believe I'm out of both Bondi and Angel White in this moment, but they're both on order, have been for some time. Well, La Rez has only been on order for... A week. I keep getting tagged in videos that are questions that ask about the difference between paste and powder. Should I do a video on that again? Has it been a long time? Is it time? Do you sell glitter? Girl, I sell all of the glitter. Glitter is my homie. I don't know how this next bit is going to go. We 
because typically when I do oceans, there's a way off the board. And this one, not so much. I'm trying to make sure it touches the wood of the wall here so that it has something to grab onto for when I push the white into the river. So far it looks like it's sinking a bit, so we got hurry. It sank too much. Yeah, it definitely works better in the bits that is a touching the wall. But I'm okay with this look too. I'm okay with this. Yeah. I am okay with this. The legend one? I'm confused. Looks like we'll have enough left over to do a couple coasters. Alright, now my river is just below the, ugh, the something, this ridge, the lip here, and I wasn't going to put like a first coat of resin on the wood, but I believe I actually will because I have it and I don't want to waste it. Just be keep very careful that you don't let the clear run into your river because that's going to push everything around. It'll push all your color to make way for the clear, so everything's going to go towards the center. So just do your best to do very minimal on this part because I'm going to have to flood it all anyways to make it seamlessly level. So I'm just doing a very thin skim coat on this bit. I don't want to give it enough resin to run. Just want to grease the pan very thinly. That's why I'm picking up some of the resin and putting it back in my cup. There we go. Layer one. So Johnny, most good whites are heavier than the other colors, so they're going to sink just because of weight. Sorry it got real dark in here, but here's where we are so far with this layer. Well, I'm going to take this to dust free zone and do a couple coasties. Oh, how pretty is that? Wow. Thanks. What's up, y'all? Ooh, that is really dark. I guess we probably could turn some lights on. 
<laughs> but we just sit here like a good boy. So what's up, y'all? What's happening? Artistry says, I've actually been using a heating pad under my piece to speed up the process. Hmm, that's a good idea. I thought about putting the little heater that we have. It's a little, just a little tiny one. Um, we got it from uh, Uzum. What is it? Uline. Uline. It's a little handheld. And it's not hand super heat. Like it wouldn't keep it, you know, melted. I think it would just put enough heat to where it would help it cure faster. And if it falls over, it turns off. So you have to worry about that. Hello, Carrie. How are you? I do like the river tray. I would like to have a table that size. I can't get Angel White to sell like titanium. Um, well, I'm using Angel White today, so let's see if it works. Some whites work better with certain pigments. Some whites work better with certain resins but I know you've been watching the channel for a while and I, and I recognize probably what most of your product is Tim so I got my blue down let's do some clear Well, I should have put the clear on hoist. That's okay. And we'll put our white down. Not too much so it doesn't take over. Alright. Moment of truth. There's some cells. Let me try it. Ugh. Let me try it with a torch. Not going to focus. Okay. So there's the cells with Angel. Let's do one with a torch. Yeah, small amount for waves. So we're gonna put clear down. I'm gonna put whatever blue you're working with and then push it up to match your clear. Or to meet your clear. Then we're going to add our white to where it touches both the raw poster and the clear. So we want it to touch both. This is the most generic wave. 
pattern. Nope, Bowie. Oh, sorry. All right, let's try it with a torch. Woo. So a small amount of the paste to get cells and waves. Yeah, you just want to um something. What was I saying? Just till it's opaque. Absolutely, Shane. Let's try it with a torch. Do a torch and tilt. Works well. Not gonna focus, are gonna focus. Ugh. I'm gonna end up like What's up, Tudor? Oh, what's up? I'm trying to get this to focus. Anyways, this is the difference in okay. using a torch versus a heat gun with a concentrator nozzle. This has like residual waves and this is just a push. It would almost focus for a second, but then quit because of my life. Did you bring over Charlie? Yeah. Is he playing with Bowie? She? No, sniffing. She is sniffing. Tudor brought over the pup that he's Hi. sitting. Whoops. Way too much that. That's okay. Oh, he's yeah, like, friend. put her down here so I can say hi. Uh oh. Pucho's like, woman in the house. <laughs> uh, you guys be sweet. She's like, I don't know about all this. Boys, no means no. Especially while we're on camera. Pujo's all excited. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Which one do you guys like best? The torch and tilt? Like with the heat gun? No, oh, the torch? Or the heat gun? Pink and blue waves with white. You can also do a combination, like get that radiating pattern and then gently touch bits of it with your torch to make some cells come up I just showed you that'd be awesome How's your wave cell life going, Tudor? I know for a little bit you were like, I hate them. I don't want to even mess with them anymore. I use my teeth for that. Maybe I should do that. I mean, either way. I could 
Like build an entire class oh, around yes. waves alone. All right. You guys want to say hi to Charlie? Ta-da! She's like, this ball is now my ball. Everyone get on board. So we can take him to the park when I'm done with the slide if you want to. He was talking about a skateboard he was giving away, and I was wondering if, he, if it was the one he showed. Um, he hasn't done the one he's going to give away yet. And, Megan, I would do a pink one, but I didn't pull any pink. I'm give this one away. Oh, it is that one. Never mind, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, this was just a, a, a kind of a test. I like it. I just, I'd like to, you know, refine it, but I think it'd be perfect for a giveaway. It's nice and clean. And sorry, everyone, it is that one. I want to get some uh, gloss clear and put over it. I have to put that in the morning. Go to English color. I don't like what I'm excited about. Huh? I don't like it like that. Well, it either needs to be matte or shiny, shiny matte. Cujo, lay down. Um, the matte looks good, but the but these Boy are cat? candy colors. You be so sweet. Like, the gloss clear really makes the candy stand out. That's crazy. The matte, it, it won't. Baby, will you watch Boy Cat? Much. Where's he at? Oh, hey. Who is tail is fat? Hey. hey. Stop it. Ooh, girl cat, fat tail too. That's not good. I forgot about these guys. I got it. Hey. Got it. Let's be good, okay? Okay. Let's be good. Okay. No fat tail. God, you guys. Both their tails are like two inches. Well, we're like, going to take him to the dog park in a minute. Oh, wow. I've never seen it like this. Okay. You're good. You're good. Look at that girl's cat. Tail. I can't see. But it's okay. Like you calm down. Ooh. Come on, guys. Let's be sweet. Hang on. Let's go. I need you guys to gang up on the little ah, Bowie? Stop it. No barking. Stop. Hey. Um, I would always Stop. recommend the heat gun with the attachments. I'll put you guys in the bathroom. Is that what you want? Pujo. He's just worked up. Gonna have a bobcat moment, right? Right? I don't need a bobcat moment. Hey, stop. Hey, you guys are good. Hey, 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 is that the stone coat or is that just rosin? This one is just rosin. Just because it, it just works better for this kind of wave. Okay, I love these lifts. Not the best thing for coasters. Don't start. Alright, so we're going to do the fan out with the heat gun. And then we're gonna just hit it with a torch just a little bit. Cujo, you're okay. Mm -mm. Thank you. Okay. No. Just to break it up a little bit and make it so. Why do they do that? Okay. Relax. You're beautiful. I love you. No need to know that. Um, as you guys know, our channel is uh, real all the time, and so <laughs> today is no yeah. exception. Get what you get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Stop. Stop. Sit down. Oh. This isn't touching my water. Those are so cute. Thanks.
Fuck. Be careful when you use a torch, you guys. It's real easy to scorch your resin. It is so much fun. It's just not going to focus. Whatever. Just there's no. <coughs> All right, you guys. So, this will be the end of the show so that we can take all the babes outside. Hey, breathe. No, there is no editing up in here. This is what you see is what you get. And we love doing it that way. In it. They're still looking for it. <laughs> oh God, pick him up. She, she'll, uh, she'll probably go after him. They both will. All right, you are <laughs> Boy, their tails were fatty, fattersons. Woo! That's when you know cats mean business when their tails get fat and they start whipping them around. Woo! Got our own little bobcats over here. <laughs> Bowie, what do you think? Get all worked up. Okay, yes. Mister. That's enough. You can't pick it up. There we go. You need to settle down, big boy. Shooter text. You're like, hey, let's take the puck so fast. You want to take a breath? Whew. Hey, TG. Well, that's the idea. I want you guys to all feel like you're here with me during the live feeds. Help me out. Tell me what direction you think I should go in. All right, so you're just in the atrium. That's fun. Anyways, you guys. Uh, I hope you all had an awesome day. I hope um, okay. you enjoyed it. Okay, calm down, mister. I know, it's just extra hype. No worries. <laughs> I will do another. Gosh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Okay, okay. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Bro cat doesn't know how to fight somebody. Okay, sit right here. Wait. Thank you. So, you guys, um, we're going to take the pups out. I'll do another wave tutorial for you guys soon. Enough! Hey, hey. Are you done? Are you done coughing? I knew you were faking it. I knew you were. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. You want to calm down a little bit? Can you calm down? 
big deep breath like the big boy. Thank you. Uh, we love you guys so, so much. Check us out on all of, nope, all of these places. Moose, we just showed everyone that you're not for real. No one believes you. back tomorrow early two o'clock tuesdays and um y'all are amazing we love you guys so so much be kind to one another you never know what someone's going through you never know what someone's going through <laughs> and always remember we do the test so you don't have to okay so we'll see you guys tomorrow bye i said bye <laughs> Let's go outside.